Why would you say such an awful thing to me? Because it's true. I stole your son's identity. He'd gone off to Canada and I needed to become someone else. Colin was all right with it. In fact, he, he was even quite amused for a while. But he came to see me. There, were, there was a problem that I won't go into featuring one of his lady friends. And while we were talking, he dropped down dead. God swallowed. He died. And there was nothing we could do. We? Me and Charlotte Hoyle. What's that strumpet got to do with it? Quite a lot, I'm afraid. If Colin died, someone would have told me. Oh, no, no, but that's it, you see. No one else knew about it. Except us. I was about to phone for an ambulance, but if anybody found out what I was doing, then they'd point the finger. I couldn't take the risk. But it, it, if Charlotte was here, she'd tell you. I might be a death store, but I'm not sitting here being made a fool of. She didn't die in that tram crash, Joy. No, of course she didn't. I hit her over the head with a hammer. Don't you get clever with me, young man. It's a long story. And a tall one, too. If Colin's dead, where's his body? Well, we panicked. Where is it, John? Where is he? Underneath the knicker factory. I know of people like you. I've, I've heard of your senses of humour. No, it's not a joke. Oh, all your friends in the staff room snickering at me. Let's wind up Colin's mob. That'll be good fun. He died of natural causes, Joy. Mrs. Fishwick. And the, and the only reason I killed Charlotte was out of desperation. Because, well, she was round the twist. She was round the twist. Yeah, she was threatening me and blackmailing me. She died in that disaster. I'm not soft, you know. We can read the papers despite what you, you people think about old folk like me. It was on that night. I gave it to some passing paramedics. No. No. God smiled on me, but I don't want God's forgiveness. I want yours. You know what it's like to have a child, Mrs. Fishwick. I can't go back to prison now. Back to prison? No, well, no, well, that was just for kidnapping. Kid? My, my, my spray. What? Give me the spray, quick. What, this? Yes, the right spray. Well, look, if I give you this, will you listen to me? Will you hear me out? Spray. You're a man. No, but this is it. I'm not. I'm a school teacher, and I made a mistake. One bad decision because of a girl called Rosie Webster. And let me tell you, Mrs. Fishwick, if you think Charlotte Hoyle was a strumpet... Please. No, but I just... Look, I just wanted to teach again. Where's the crime in that? You're sick in the head. I'm in fantastic nick compared to you. Is the world so upside down that I'm not allowed back in a classroom again? I mean, where's the harm in it, Mrs. Fishwick? I'm, I'm dedicated, I'm passionate. You buried my son under a nick factory. It sounds worse than it is. <laughs> the phone, John. Look, my family need me. If I can just make you understand that, if I can just persuade you not to phone the police, then I can start my life again. Give me the phone, John. <laughs> Mrs Fishwick? Fishwick, it's Clifford from next door. I wanted to return the talking tape you left me. I'll pop it through the letterbox, shall I? <sighs> Miss Fishwick? Joy? Mrs. Fishwick, talk to me. Um. I was only trying to stop you screaming, that's all. If you screamed out loud, then I'd have been finished. But surely, but we're supposed to be holding the baby tonight. Surely you can understand that, Mrs. Fishwick. But this, how does this, I think it's run out, Mrs. Fishwick. Mrs. Fishwick! <laughs> <laughs> 